Hey guys, this is Tim Charles from Nail with Skyros, and these are my five tour tips. Uh, number one, prioritize sleep because uh, you don't get that much of it and so uh, any chance you get, um, it definitely makes a big difference in being able to perform well night after night after, after night. Um, number two, however long you think something will take to get organized, allow at least two to three times the amount of time, whether that's trying to get visas to get into the USA, which takes forever. Um, and we've had you know, bands that are friends of ours that have ended up not getting to tour, having to have tours canceled because the visas just take always longer than people think. Same with stuff like uh, you know, merchandise and organizing stuff with venues and just everything, always, everything in the music industry on tour it takes longer than you think it would and that you plan it would because shit just happens. When you are getting merchandise throughout the tour, don't get it shipped direct to the venue because some of the venues aren't open during the day, some of them even if they are aren't necessarily reliable in collecting it or setting it aside properly. So we actually had one time on a previous tour where we had, I think it was a, a drum skin or something like that, it was a new symbol because Dan had broken a symbol shipped to a venue in a city, I won't say which, and they didn't, uh, it got the delivery got attempted and they didn't get it and we missed the symbol and then we moved on to the next city and it was a real pain in the ass to get a ship so now we get everything shipped to to FedEx stores and UPS stores and, and stuff like that and on that note like an extension of that is my tip number four is if you get something shipped to a FedEx store you got to make sure that you go and log in on and for the with the tracking number and select to hold it there because we actually had initially something on this tour like about 17 boxes of stuff um, shipped to a FedEx store in San Diego and a lot of the people shipping stuff you know do it for you but um, one of the who was it it was actually we got something from Amazon and even though we shipped it FedEx to a FedEx store um, because we hadn't gone on the tracking number and selected that we wanted to be held uh, the FedEx store actually refused the order and returned it back to Amazon. Yeah, so that was a, a little mini disaster of, you know, something not getting given in on time. So, um, I guess uh, number five, I feel like I could even go more now. Um, I'll break this into a couple of things. One, I'll say any chance you get to take a shower, take it, because you might not get one for another week. Um, and then the other thing would just be to you know, prioritize making time for, for fans, um, you know, before and after the shows, you know, one of the things that we always do is, you know, we sell our own merch, you know, we have the merch chefs after, after the show and, you know, we sell more merchandise because we're there hanging out, people want to come up and say hi and they buy something while they're there to get signed or, or whatever and as, as long as humanly possible, it's something that uh, I think is definitely worthwhile for, for bands to try and do, um, you know, to engage more personally with their fans.